Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, have you guys ever had an issue with your Coolpix AW110 or maybe another Coolpix camera? Well, you see, I have an issue where the audio and video don't play together or sometimes it skips, sometimes it comes in and out. It's a great camera. I love this camera. But for some reason, I seem to have that problem. Well, I'm about to tell you guys how to fix that and show you how to fix it. And this means you need to update the firmware. So, for this specific model, I'm going to go over a couple things that updating the firmware will do. It will solve an issue that resulted in the timing of a movie and sound not being played or displayed right. An issue that caused latitude and longitude information displayed with data imprint to be incorrect, that is solved. An issue in some rare cases caused the camera to freeze while shooting an acquisition of GPS position. So as you saw the first issue, that is my issue, which is probably your issue. So first of all, you need to have a memory card. Make sure you put that memory card in your camera and inside your camera you go and you format that memory card. So put the memory card in your camera, go under settings and click format and format this card. Alright guys, we're going to head over to the next step. Oh wait, no. First of all, you guys want to make sure your battery is 100% charged or this will not work. Why? I don't know, but your battery has to be charged. If it's half charged, the update will not show. So make sure your battery is 100% charged. So go ahead and do that first. Then you can go ahead and format the memory card and go from there. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm about to show you what else to do. Insert your formatted memory card into your computer port or a USB port. Um, memory card port, whatever you use. Go to the website, which I should have the link in the description. Select Windows or Mac, scroll down to the bottom, and accept and download your firmware update, which will be right down here. Once you download, let's go from there. Once the download is complete, you should see a file that is pretty much similar to this. So what you're going to want to do is let's create a new folder. So you right click, go under new, and select folder. We're just going to keep it folder 5. What we're going to do is drag it into that folder, double click that folder, and then once we're in that folder, you're going to just simply and you should only have to just simply double click the file and what it's going to do it's going to create a whole new folder right there so by double clicking give it some time and it will create this folder now what you're going to want to do is double click that folder and then you'll see the firmware folder you're going to click that first on the side panel here you're going to scroll down to your memory card so whatever your memory card is, if it's mine is disk H, so we're going to go over here, we're going to click the firmware and drag it right over to removable disk and drop it. After we do that, you can now click your memory card and go over here and you're going to see DCIM and firmware. What I recommend doing is simply deleting your DCIM folder. Make sure you have no photos in there. So open it up, transfer your fo uh, photos, but um, keep in mind when you format your memory card, you're going to lose photos. So make sure you have no uh, photos in your memory card before you format it. So we're going to go ahead and delete that folder. and delete and now all that's left is the firmware folder when you double click that you got the file in here okay guys 
let's go to the next step. Place the memory card and your fully charged battery into your camera. Then go to the settings. Go to firmware version. And this is what happens when you don't have your battery fully charged. It will beep and it will say battery exhausted. So without a full charged battery, you can't do anything. All right, so once you put your memory card in and your battery is fully charged, go under menu, press left twice, then you scroll down to the settings, open up, and then you click firmware version, and then it'll say please wait, and then you go to update yes, and updating. Let's see if we can show you guys. I don't know why it's staying white. There we go. So it is now updating the camera's firmware. If it beeps, okay, so it's done. Turn off camera to complete. So if it beeps and doesn't update or bring up the update screen, your battery is probably not fully charged. So make sure your battery is fully charged. And that is it, guys. And that should solve your problems. Thank you for watching guys.